Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture I'm going to talk about splicing in a detail. So splicing process in a detail. Okay. Now in previous video lecture if you guys remember we talked about the 5 prime capping. We talked about the post transcription modification and we, wa we watched the overview of everything. We watched the overview of uh, 5 prime capping, 3 prime polydenylation and splicing as well. If you missed that video lecture, it will present into my channel. You can go back and watch it. After that, we talked about the 5 prime capping in a detail. And after that video, we talked about the 3 prime polydenylation in a detail. Now, today in this video lecture, we are going to talk about the splicing, types of the splicing, mechanism of the splicing, and how exactly splicing occur. We'll be talking all this in this video lecture. So please stay tuned and keep watching. Okay friends, so let me write RNA splicing. First of all, let's talk the introduction of RNA splicing and then we will explain it with the help of diagram. What is RNA splicing? As the name indicates splicing, what does splicing mean? Splicing means to cleave out the junk portion which is present in the RNA. Okay, now RNA splicing is uh, the process which occur inside, mainly it occur inside the eukaryotic cell, not in prokaryotic cell. In some of the prokaryotic cell it may also occur, but most of the time it will occur inside the eukaryotic cell. So RNA splicing is that technique in which the non-coding portion or we call it entron, which don't take a part in the protein synthesis are removed or cleaved out with the help of protein or by itself and the exon portion or which we call that coding region which take a part in the protein synthesis are connected to each other and it make the mature mRNA from the pre uh, mRNA and after that the mature mRNA leave the cell oh sorry it leave the nucleus and reach to the cytoplasm of the cell and ready for the translation and then the translation process will occur okay but before splicing uh, remember 5 prime capping and 3 prime polydenylation must occur so let me once again tell you that what actually going on inside the cell we have a dna molecule from dna we get the uh, rna and from rna we get the protein okay you know during transcription what actually happened during transcription after the addition of 50 to 60 addition of the nucleotide then 5 prime capping should occur now once the 3 prime area get freed and when the, once the RNA are uh, you know synthesized and once it separated from the DNA strand after that this are, the, the 3 prime area is now free so at the 3 prime area the polymerase will come and it will keep adding adenine residues so this is called 3 prime polydenylation and after that splicing will occur okay so if I explain it with the help of diagram what actually happened so remember this is let's suppose the DNA as you can see so from DNA we get the RNA so this is the RNA which are formed from the DNA uh, and this RNA is called as pre mature mrna which are mainly occur inside the eukaryotic cell and the process through which the dna can synthesize the rna we call it transcription and in transcription mainly the rna have 5 prime to 3 prime end after that from this rna it should be edited it should be processed so as you can see the green portion these are the non-coding portion these are the antron portion it don't take a part in the protein synthesis so it should be cleaved out and this is actually the premature rna it should be cleaved out by the help of some proteins and it should be cleaved out by itself now after that the once these antron portion are released out 
Then the axon portion are connected to each other. As you can see. And we get another RNA we call that mature mRNA. Remember the same process are not occur inside the prokaryotic cell. Inside the prokaryotic cell the DNA is uh, transcribing and it produces the RNA and from the RNA we get directly protein. But in eukaryotic cell this RNA is further processed and after that once it further processed the further uh, process means that uh, 5 prime capping should occur 3 prime polyadenylation occur after that we get the mature mrna this mature mrna now leave the nucleus now it's leave the nucleus and it is present inside the uh, cytoplasm of the cell so remember here the 5 prime capping is already done and this is the 3 prime polyadenylation is already done as you can see 200 or 250 uh, adenine nucleotide are added this is the mature mRNA. Now it is ready for the protein synthesis. So after that protein will be synthesized. So as you can see, let's suppose this is a protein structure. And this process is called as a translation. We will discuss it in a detail in our, uh, in our upcoming videos lecture. Now this is the concept behind the splicing. Okay. Now then what are the types of the splicing so this is the introduction of the splicing now let's discuss about the types of the splicing try to remove the spelling mistake by yourself now so how many types of splicing we have so we have three types of the splicing let me write the first we call that so the first step we call it splice so, so mediated splicing so let me write spli so so mediated splicing so in this case it involved different kinds of the proteins we will discuss it in our next video lecture and then next we call that uh, entron mediated splicing so let me write uh, entron mediated splicing and last we have uh, alter this entron mediated splicing is also called as uh, self splicing so let me write uh, self splicing and third we have alternative splicing okay so these are the main types of the splicing that how splicing will occur Inshallah, in the next video lecture, we are going to talk about splicing, mediated splicing. So this is all about the introduction of the RNA splicing and why it is important because it is important for the protein uh, before protein synthesis. That's why splicing should occur. So I hope you get idea about the RNA splicing. But if still you have any kind of a question in your mind, you can write it into a comment. I will try my best to give you answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, share this video and definitely subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like that. Thank you so much.